What is up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Timothy, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Today is a little bit of a sad day because I have to return this beautiful lens to the person I borrowed it from, Dev. And uh, this is the 100 millimeter macro from Canon F4. It has helped me so much with product and food photography, but <sighs> he is selling it, and I have to go drive and return it so someone else can have this. I mean, I've borrowed it and kept it for the last six months, so I really can't complain. I'm also running really late, so let's go. How you guys doing? Uh, Ryan and Ryan. Nice to meet you guys. Just vlog, giving me back my lens. Yeah. You gotta this miss vlog it. day. You gotta miss it, huh? Yeah. Dude, so much. This guy hit me up. He's like, I want it. He's like, but can I give you a five hundred dollar gift card instead? I'm like, no. Yeah, he's yeah, like, sure. He's like, you, he's like, you can check it. I promise. I'm like, I'm not having it. Your gift card's gonna pay my rent. Yeah. yeah no. Ugh. Saying bye to that lens was hard. Okay, now that I've returned the lens, I can finally get to the point of this video. And that is, we hit 100 subscribers. And I get it, I get it, I've thought about this. A lot of people are gonna be like, oh, Tim, in the grand scheme of the YouTube life and sphere and universe, that is nothing. That might be true, but for me, someone who didn't think I'd get to 100 subscribers, that's a lot of subscribers. A lot. That means there are a hundred people that went, ah, uh, I like your content. Subscribe. A hundred. I think we're over a hundred actually right now. I think we're at 118 followers. So I missed the last 18. So thank you all of you for coming out and I'm spitting all over the place. What? Thank you for subscribing. It means a whole lot to me. I'm so happy that people are enjoying this content. So to celebrate, today we are going to go and do a little photo walk. I'm going to teach you how to take pictures by yourself if you're a solo creator like myself who don't have that many photographer friends or people around to take pictures off you or to help you with projects. Uh, and specifically today, we're going to be modeling. I'm going to be operating this camera to record the whole video. I'm going to be shooting on a different camera, the pictures. So I'm playing three roles today. It, basically the whole set to a product shoot and today we're shooting these shoes uh i realize i don't have oh my arms dying i realize i don't have a urban portfolio for clothing companies or shoe companies that want that kind of type of feel i have a few but these are more street urban fashion and that's what we're focusing on today there is not a cloud in the sky so this is going to be a little difficult to do by ourselves but this is why i'm here to show you how to do it so let's just get into it and i'll stop rambling so <laughs> let's go jaywalking is not good but it's a thing i do often i am in a bit of a predicament i seem to have lost my 50 millimeter nifty 50 which i usually shoot these on so today i'm rolling with a little bit of a difficult lens it's an 85 millimeter on a 1.6 crop which makes it like 130 something i think it's like 130 millimeter so this is going to be a little difficult to do i also just chopped my head off this is a hard shadow i'm going to get a shot just like that Do you mind if it's blown out? I'd rather you see me than anything else because I'm so self-centered. I'm actually going to need to find a rock or something to stabilize this lens because it is way, way too big. If this works, Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so happy. Let's see. Shaker bottle cap. And. Like I told you guys, when you create for yourself, sometimes you just gotta be smart with it. Here's the problem that you're gonna run into. 
If you're using your phone as a remote trigger, you can only go so far before the internet that connects your camera to your phone cuts out and it cut out on that shot. So I cannot get a full length picture using that lens because it's way too close. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home, regroup, get myself a tripod, Yep, this is how we shoot those B-roll shots. <laughs> I'm back home. Time to get this tripod. <sighs> not my day today, guys. It's not my day. Okay, so not only do I have the tripod this time, I also found my 50 millimeter, which is, it's a good day. So now, we can actually go get all the shots I want to get, know I can get, and finish this episode without looking too much like a failure. Okay, managed to find a spot. Got the camera, second camera on a tripod. I'm gonna try to get this final, final shot. Actually, this little lip right here would make for a very cool shot. We made it like three houses down from where we parked and we already got two really nice shots. I'm pretty happy with them. But I did say I wanna go for an urban feel, which means I do have to go back into the city and hopefully this time no one tries to steal my camera. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is it, people. And one of them did try to grab one of my cameras. When I yelled, got my camera just in time before he was able to get to it. And I ran, he chased me for like, he chased me around the plaza, basically. I think this might be my final location for tonight because this video is taking me way too long to do and I have to edit it for tomorrow. So I found this perfect wall to, to basically shoot on and it's really grimy so, so it's gonna be the perfect location to do this next shot. Oh, I didn't even notice there's a cop car that pulled up behind me and they're just sitting in their car watching me. This is like the fourth or fifth time they've done this. Curiosity. Am I in frame? Okay, I'm in frame. So I found this bunch of leaves. And I think this is gonna make for a killer picture. Seriously, what are the chances I would find just a bunch of orange dry leaves because it's the middle of summer and everything is green. But that somehow seems like an autumn or a fall picture. So there's one last picture I wanna get. And I'm gonna do that right now. Whew, okay. That's it. That's how you be the model, use the products, be the photographer, and be the videographer for a product shoot and advanced selfies or whatever you want to call it. So if you want to be a solo creator, content creator like myself, it is definitely doable. I will say there's only one or two downsides to being a solo creator. Number one is that you forget, if you forget gear like I did my tripod and my lens, it just puts a halt to the entire shoot. If you bring the wrong lens, I also brought the wrong lens. So it, it kind of messes up your whole day. It messes up your whole vibe. This shit took me three hours to do, like just this video, uh, just because I had to go home and get stuff and then come back and got stuck in traffic. It just takes a whole lot longer than it should have. This should have been done in 45 minutes. Shh. Yeah, peeps, that's what I do on this channel. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, you should if you want to. I mean, you don't have to, but it does, does make a difference to this channel. It also motivates me to make more content like this. And uh, comment below what else you'd like to see me make. And with that being said, that is it for me. And until next time, peeps, I should just start calling you terrestrials. Until next time, terrestrials. Ow. Oh. I didn't get the whole screen, did I? <laughs>